Hey, what's up? Yeah, I know, it's been a minute. I've been busy. Well, lazy. Trying to do school, set up the house, you know, all that shit. Sorry. Anyway, one of my buddies was asking me for some writing tips. Advice, how-tos, etc. So I think, hey, you know what, I haven't been on YouTube in a while, so... Might as well double hit this guy, right? Right? Right. So I figured, hey, this is a good YouTube opportunity, so I go to the internet and I, uh... Ask for some other questions that people might have. You know, have them leave it in the comments. And then I got like three questions. Which is fine because, you know, cross-platform I probably only have 23,000 followers. I know that mostly it's for memes, so, you know, I'm not too worried about it. Because memes are all I care about either. Moving on! So let's start with this process that might get your story moving along. Maybe you have a situation you want to write about. Maybe it's characters. Either way, there's some things to do, but you don't know what you want to do. That's not really a big deal. Half of us don't know what we want our characters to do. And the other half of us can't control our character. They just won't listen. Look, your story is going to constantly change as you write it. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, so what I would do first is get a big assortment of photos. Just random images. I mean, they can be your pictures, they can be stuff you find off Google. Oh, they can even be something you get in a magazine. But anyway, line all these pictures up and try to figure out a story that happens with all these images in it. So let's have ourselves a quick little experiment with this idea. All right, we're gonna take Jamie over here. And what's Jamie doing? Well, Jamie's hanging out with some hillbillies. Why is Jamie hanging out with some hillbillies? Fill in the blank. This is where your imagination comes in handy. But anyway, Jamie and these hillbillies are being chased by this guy with a machine gun. Why? Use your imagination. First thing that pops in your head, just write it down. Anyway, Jamie and the hillbillies are being chased by the dude with the machine gun, and this really scary stuff happens at this old mill. But then after that, they literally have to go through hell to get away from their predicament. But there's no way to get through hell, so they have to travel through time. Another trick you can do with those images, though, is if you're having trouble describing a scene, whether it's what's going on throughout it or just the location or what somebody looks like, go find a picture that you think fits, or get a picture and make it fit, and then paint that picture again with your words in your writing. But then after that, there's always that pesky problem about getting something out of your brain and onto some paper. There's a trick to this, too. Stay with me, it might get a little confusing. Sit down and write. Yeah, 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 I know, you don't have the time to do it. No one does. Some people just do it anyway. There's not a time limit on this stuff. Just sit down and write whatever comes into your mind. It doesn't have to be complete sentences. It doesn't have to be a full thought. Hell, it doesn't even have to be a real word. Yeah, grok. And don't worry about it sucking. Everybody's work is shit at first. But then after you get your stuff written down, then you can start polishing your turd. Literally just vomit words into the paper. You can always clean it up later. And you can't edit a blank page. Now for a little bit more advanced stuff, like say a fight scene, YouTube is a great tool. One of the things I did on the book I'm working on right now, for example, there's this big fight and it's like three versus 50. And of course everyone's out of ammo. So what I did was I went on YouTube and I looked at a bunch of martial arts fighting. And I did all this with a pen and a notepad in front of me. I watched every time something happened that I thought I could use, I would jot down that. Now there is something very important to keep in mind here. Don't get too technical with your words. Your character might know all these cool complex moves, but your reader doesn't. You probably didn't before looking it up. And if you use those words, you're just gonna confuse everybody and lose interest. So don't say that your character did the cutie hubiake. Instead, show the readers the moves. Like show us that your character grabbed the opponent's wrist and pulled him in. And then he twisted him around and wrapped his arm around his neck. It boosts your word count a little, but in a good way. Like, you might think leaving big technical details sounds cool, but unless you're writing a technical manual, don't get technical. Like, for example, have you ever read The Hunt for the Red October? When I read it, I felt like I can operate a nuclear submarine. I don't need that. I'm here for the story, dude. Give me the story. Now, you will have to know what, how works, and why. Your reader doesn't, or at least not all at once. Now, that same idea is crucial to character development. Don't tell your readers everything all at once. Now, you do need to know the how and why of why characters do things, but leave it to the reader to put it all together. Like, for example, don't say that Larry couldn't grab the amulet because it reminded him of the spider that bit him when he was six. Instead, maybe, you know, a few chapters before that, I would say at least 50 pages. Have Larry be in a conversation, and he just mentions that he got bit by a spider that looks a certain way when he was six years old. The spider had ten eyes and it was blue and skinny. And then later describe the amulet looking the same way. And then have him freak out about it. Don't just spring it on the reader then in the moment when everything else is going on. But anyway, that's just a brief little bit of writing advice. If you've got any more questions you'd like me to take a step at, put them down in the comments. Or, uh, you know, go hit me up on Instagram. But until then, I'll see you all around.